How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel where even some of our favorites can't be saved. Alright, so many of you may not know this, but I used to love playing Apex Legends. I think as a Battle Royale, it managed to deliver a very enjoyable and unique experience, and since it was one of the games that came out and grew during what gamers refer to as the lockdown era, it's also been a part of a good amount of memories to some people. Unfortunately, today's video is anything but positive, because EA and Respawn made a big mistake when it comes to a very important part of every Battle Royale game their battle pass. More specifically, the new changes they're making to their battle pass. Now, obviously, this isn't the first sign of how money-hungry Apex devs are. I mean, just look at how much it is to buy one of their in-game melee weapons. $120 during the release event, but about $500 for after. This is because the system guarantees a player the heirloom shards for every 500 packs they open. Not to say that the guarantee is pack number 500, it's completely random when you get it. However, in spite of Apex having outrageous prices for just a spinny knife, they also had a pretty good handle on grindable cosmetics. In the packs you obtain through the battle pass, or even just leveling up every now and then, you can get crafting medals which allows you to craft legendary skin variants that are pre-loaded into each of the legends. As well as releasing those same skins with different recolors in the shop for legend tokens. While it isn't the most diverse, reward system, you still get some pretty cool skins with almost any color variation. And it's this kind of stuff that fans of the game have loved, well, that and her. Now when it comes to something like the Battle Pass, we all know that it's a pretty similar case. When you buy one Battle Pass, typically for $10 worth of currency, you pretty much give yourself any future Battle Pass as well. The reason being, in the Battle Pass, you're always given a little over the same amount of that currency back for completing it. So, if you get, say, the Battle Pass from one season, you pay $10 this time, then when you finish it, you'll get the exact amount of in-game currency you need to get the one for the next season, so on and so forth. It's something that I've done, it's something you've probably done, it's something you're probably still doing at this exact moment. Unfortunately, EA and Respawn decided that starting in Season 22, the Battle Pass was going to see some changes. Now, some changes are pretty good, like reducing the amount of tiers from 110 to just 60 and giving people some bonus rewards for each Battle Pass. However, that thing that I mentioned with the Battle Pass being a one-time purchase is no more. You will now have to buy every Battle Pass that comes out for the same $10 price each time, as well as releasing two battle passes each season, so pretty much $20 every season for two different grindable battle passes. My problem with this is not just the charging of each battle pass, but also the fact that technically the amount of time you have to grind each battle pass has decreased. 110 levels over roughly 90 days is like one and a half levels per day, but now 60 over half that time is like almost two. But of course, the most important part being the fact that free-to-play players are now completely completely losing that value. Many who just grind battle pass after battle pass have lost a crucial part of their cosmetic income to say. Hopefully some point down the line they decide to overturn the decision, though it doesn't seem likely. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video then leave a like and subscribe if you're new and check out the recent video here on screen. Also leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts about this change and I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.